there's a couple reasons why remote work is so specifically difficult to measure whether it's good or bad. One, you cannot A-B test it, meaning we can't create the same company twice. One in office and one out of office. Like that just does not happen because it, minimally you'd have to have different people working on it, which means you're going to have to have a huge variation of this, right? You'd actually have to have many, 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 many thousands of companies started in which two companies are actually started, one in office, one out of office, just to even know if productivity really is better in office or out of office. You can't, like, I don't think we can even say there's some sort of productivity gain or loss. Uh, but second, I think one thing that's really been hard on measurements is that we have this whole enshittification process, right? Like enshittification is real. Enshittification is absolutely real. Like everything feels shittier over the last four years. Is this because of remote work? Is this because of COVID? Is this because of just us with the ever progressing desire to make more money from VCs constantly pushing products to be released early? Is it because people are burnt out? Is it because of what? I don't know. I, I have no idea. I know people say greed, but I think that whenever you just blame it on one single thing, I think you're just simply being dimwitted. Okay. I think it's a lot more difficult. Consumerism, because consumerism is the other side of the coin to greed, right? And shittification is a real, real problem. And so it's like, why are things just generally getting shittier? I don't know why things are generally getting shittier. And shittification is just a nonstop thing that's been marching forward constantly. It gotta be the vaccines. It's probably the vaccines. Corporate greed has and is a bigger problem post-COVID. I don't believe you. <laughs> I think they're greedy AF beforehand, and I think the greedy AF afterwards, right? That's a hell of a clip. Uh, it's still the same. I think that if you would have measured, I think it's the corporate greed is something that looks like this. If this is time, this is levels of greed. This is zero. This is one. I think corporate operates like this. Okay. It's just a straight line. Okay. I think before it was greedy. I think afterwards it's greedy. Of course, there is always going to be some company that doesn't operate this way as much and treats their employees significantly better. But you know, that's a rarity, okay? I don't know. Like, I think it's exceptionally impossible to really understand if remote work is actually better. I think that this is a problem that we can argue about forever. And I think that if you just truly think one is better than the other, I don't know. I feel like you're just being too one-dimensional about it. And I think it's also a generational question. I think some people will find certain ways better. Like, you know, like, I, I don't like VR that much, okay? There's a lot of people that can just sit in VR all day. Like, I'm just not that person. I'm just not VR guy, right? I, I mean, I like it. It's cool. Oh, it's super cool. I also might throw up. I, you know, it's just like, I'm old, man. My, 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 little, my little brain, my little ear, my little ear has a lot of bubbles in it, okay? I just gonna throw up now, okay? VR causes headaches. Also, if you're young and you use VR, apparently it's extremely bad for long-term eyesight. Like, you know, there's a lot of very tricky things. It gets better over time. I'm sure it does, but I'm gonna have to actually lean into it over time, right? Uh, but again, I just think that these, these arguments overall are one-dimensional because there's aspects that are going to be better in one than the other. And you just have to choose what aspects you wish to maximize and which aspects you wish to minimize. Like me personally, I'm kind of pretty much up to the point where if you said I had to move to San Francisco, I would say no. If you told me that I had to commute for an hour a day, I'd say no. But that also means that I might have to get paid less. I may have less job opportunity. I may have less, you know, less specific opportunities. That's fine. But that's a that's a, that's a choice I'm willing to make.